So just to put it into context, EDF Energy own and operate 15 of the 16 nuclear reactors within the UK, so that's across eight power stations. Um, and my role working with colleagues is to be the focus for chemistry across the, across the fleet. So I would be looking at strategies that make sure that we promote the management of chemistry, uh, both here in the centre and also at the fleet. I'll be looking at um, training initiatives uh, and training deployment of new and existing staff to make sure that we can continue to learn new skills and develop and progress. I'll be involved and, and commissioning the uh, writing of chemistry standards, and technical governance documents, and then also ensuring that we have compliance against those as well. And then finally, I'll be looking at um, areas of chemical safety. You know, we have very concentrated acids and alkalis on our, on our nuclear plant in huge volumes. Um, and, and people are working with those on a day-to-day on a -day basis. Most of them are being non-chemists, so we need to make sure that where they are coming into contact with chemicals, they need to do uh, safely for their own uh, personal safety and also for their co-colleagues. So my role is very rewarding. I, I'm, I'm really fortunate in, in, in my role. Um, I get to see chemistry happen um, in practice. You know, I get to see the benefits of uh, minimising corrosion in the plant, uh, steel work lasting longer than it should do. I get to see the benefit of working with colleagues um, and seeing them developing their technical abilities. Um, uh, just m m and, and keeping everyone operating safely. Th the benefit for us is that we, we can turn uh, chemistry from a theoretical uh, discipline into actual practice and, and making plant last longer, seeing, seeing, seeing it really happen in front of our eyes. I started as, a, as an 18-year-old uh, back in uh, what was called the Central Electricity Generating Board, the CEGB at the time, uh, straight from school. I did a couple of uh, A-levels, one of them was chemistry, um, not, not magnificently passed, but it was enough to get me onto an apprenticeship for the CGB. So I spent my first couple of years doing a part-time HNC, which was sponsored by the company at the time, a, a local uh, secondary college in uh, Chatham, in Kent, I think it's still running now. Um, I did quite well at that, um, and I also was doing well at, at work as well in terms of the other parts of the apprenticeship. And so I got agreement and sponsorship to carry on for a further three years to do the RSC's own degree at that time. I don't think they run it anymore. It was called the GRSC, Graduate of the Royal Society of Chemistry, part one and part two. And that was three years, uh, further three years day release. I did start off with chemistry. I've always often come back to a chemistry department, but I've worked in, in uh, inspection departments, engineering departments, um, training. I've done a bit of stuff in training. I've worked in the center. I've worked at a power station. So I think for the, the, sort of the emphasis of my career has been a variety. I, I've been very fortunate, probably because we're in a big company, to work in very many different departments outside of my, uh, my discipline. And for that, I've picked up lots of experiences that's really helping me in my, in my current role. So when I was at, uh, at school doing my uh, GCSEs, I, al I always liked the sciences. In fact, I did all three sciences um, quite unusually when I did O-levels in the old pre-GCSEs days on that old I did O-levels um, and then moved on I had to change school um, to do my A-levels uh, one of them was chemistry fortunately um, so there was no real um, uh, sort of um, character that really spurred me on I just always loved chemistry particularly the practical side I, I was, again I, from, from looking back now I was much more uh, hands-on on the practical side rather than the theoretical working in a lab yes uh, in a in a, in a um, in the classroom. It was really when I started work and, uh, and came into the HNC, I, got, I, I was benefited, I, I had a real benefit of some really excellent mentors in the time. And my first mentor uh, was a chap called Dr. James Cordell. In fact, he's just recently retired from a, from a co company. Really set me on my way. He was really a real excellent practical chemist and really showed me what I needed to do and really encouraged me to, to work outside of my discipline to get more skills and, and wider skills. So the vocational work really worked for me. It was a mixture between working on my chemistry skills um, uh, it, during work time and also looking at the theoretical side again during the, the day release, the five years that I did to do the, uh, the chemistry degree. Would I recommend it to others? Of course, absolutely. And it's why when I became chief chemist about five years ago, I reintroduced the scheme 
that, uh, that served me well 20 years earlier when I was in the CGV. So, you know, now we have chemistry uh, technicians or chemistry apprentices starting from the same as I did, either from GCSEs or from A-levels, working their way to do a, an online or a part-time HNC in chemistry. And it's really gratifying to know that some of them have carried on to go on and do a, a part-time degree. Um, uh, certainly one of them's doing a couple of them doing a foundation degree through MMU and others. And, it, and it's fantastic to see that those people are working through. And, and I'm sure that within, within you know, 20 or 30 years, if they're still within the company, you know, they may well be in the position that I'm in because it's that, that really good balance between learning your, your practical skills and then your theoretical skills uh, and seeing that really move uh, moving forward. So diversity and inclusion is really important to us within the EDF Energy, but also within the sciences in general. Um, and in particular, bringing more, more women and ethnic minority groups into, into chemistry. Um, I've personally, on a personal level, been working very closely with local universities and also uh, my local uh, secondary school, of which I'm a science uh, governor, to make sure that um, women uh, come pick the sciences up more into, into the A-levels. And it's really gratifying to know uh, that you know, near enough half of the, uh, the uh, young adults now going into A-levels are, are women now uh, into the A-level sciences. And so that's something I'd really like to see continued and, and promoted uh, much more because you know, those groups have, have as much offers to us, you know, white ethnic males.